Hey everyone, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. So in this video I just want to go over how angelfish are made. Pretty much what causes angelfish to reproduce, how it's done, and how the whole process goes. I want to get into depth of that subject and I also want to explain how it all works. So first things first is if you get a big aquarium and I would recommend 55 gallons or more and you go in there and you add a bunch of plants you add some good substrate some driftwood lots of good hiding places and if you add six or more angelfish into your aquarium um, you are bound to get a angelfish pair it doesn't matter what type of angelfish you put in there as long as you have six or more and they're relatively the same size you will start to get this you will start to see aggression you will start to see angelfish doing their mating ritual dance and then eventually you will see a pair of angelfish do this they will start to lay eggs for you um, they might lay them on the filter intake they might lay them on the glass of the aquarium uh, a leaf of a plant anubias plants are really good for breeding uh, a lot of angelfish like to lay their eggs on anubias plants so keep that in mind uh, the female will lay the eggs the male will follow behind the female and fertilize the eggs uh, female usually has the larger breeding tube male has the smaller breeding tube there's no way to tell the difference between female and male until they start breeding uh, keep in mind if you do have angelfish that lay their eggs in a community tank other fish will eat the eggs and they will also fight with other angelfish the parents that have laid the eggs will become very defensive and aggressive and they might injure or kill any of your other fish in the aquarium so it's pretty wise to either get rid of the eggs as soon as possible or put them in another tank eventually the eggs will hatch and this is what it looks like when they first hatch uh, at this stage this is called the wiggler stage which means the fry has hatched out of the egg but the egg sac is still attached to the body of the angelfish and they will feed off the yolk inside of that sac and they will wiggle back and forth around the sixth or seventh day they will scatter about and they will stick to surfaces and they will attempt to swim although they are still not ready to start free swimming uh, so you don't have to worry about feeding them right then and there um, when they all become free swimming that's when you want to go ahead and start feeding them and taking care of them um, how you decide to have them raise is up to you you can have the parents raise them if they are capable or you can raise them and hatch the eggs yourself artificially I have videos on how to do both so you can check the description for videos that will help you in breeding angelfish I've been doing this for a few years and I would say that I have some decent experience when it comes to breeding these guys uh, like I said when they all become free swimming you want to make sure you have some baby brine shrimp uh, ready to go and I also have a video on how to do this and also on how to feed your baby angelfish. You don't want to just grab baby brine shrimp straight from the pot and throw it into your tank. It, the water has salt. Uh, baby brine shrimp can't be made without salt and you don't want the salt in the aquarium with your fry because it can hurt them. So make sure to check out the videos in the description for more information on that. Uh, I only recommend baby brine shrimp. You can try other foods, but I've only had success in baby brine shrimp. Also, make sure to keep up with your water changes. Uh, the first few weeks, water changes are just as important as feeding the baby angelfish. You want to do a water change 25% once a day. And eventually, they'll grow into some big and beautiful angelfish. My name is Master Aquatics, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you, young God, for the blessing. Hey.